Welcome back to another episode of Tic Tac Thoughts Story Time with me, Steffi. Thank you for joining with me today, and I'm so excited to have you here in today's episode. My reading friends, in today's book, we will follow a boy named Andrew who is excited to bring his special perfect pajama to school. Curious to see what the pajamas looks like? Then let us read Pajama Day. Please enjoy the story. Pajama Day Written by Robert Munch and illustrated by Michael Marchenko Andrew's old pajamas were full of holes, so his father took him to get new ones. <sighs> they went to a store and Andrew said, Yuck! These pajamas do not feel right. They went to another store and Andrew said, Yuck! These pajamas do not smell right. They went to another store and Andrew said, Yuck! These pajamas do not taste right. I'll wear my old ones. His father took him to one more store. Way in the back was a rack that said, Perfect pajamas. Andrew looked at the pajamas and said, All right, they look okay. He smelled the pajamas and said, All right, they smell okay. He tasted the pajamas and said, All right, they taste okay. So his father bought the pajamas. The next day was pajama day at school. Andrew put one foot into his new pajamas and yawned once. He put the other foot in and yawned twice. He put one arm in and his eyes closed. He put the other arm in and fell fast asleep. This was very strange because it was only 9 o'clock. <laughs> Andrew's teacher put him in the back of the room and said, He'll wake up in a bit. Andrew slept until recess and his teacher started to get worried. He slept until lunch and the principal started to get worried. He slept all afternoon. And even the kids started to get worried. At the end of the day, the teacher called for a doctor. The doctor bonked Andrew on the knee, look in his ears, and look in his eyes. She said that he was fine, but Andrew was still asleep. Then Andrew's big sister came to walk him home from school. She said, I'm going to call mom. Andrew's mother took one look and said, I see what's wrong. He's wearing perfect pajamas. She took Andrew's arm out of the pajamas and he yawned. She took his other arm out of the pajamas and he opened one eye. Just for a second. She took out one foot and he opened both his eyes. She took out the other foot and Andrew jumped up and said, Is it recess yet? (laughs) The principal came in and said, What's going on here? Look, said Andrew's mother. It was perfect pajamas that made Andrew sleep. These are perfect pajamas. That's crazy, said the principal. I say there is no such thing as perfect pajamas. 
and I am a principal, so I know everything twice. But just to be sure, the principal decided to try them out. <laughs> the principal looked at the pajamas and they look okay. He smelled the pajamas and they smelled okay. <laughs> He tasted the pajamas and they tasted okay. He put one foot in the pajamas and he yawned. He put the other foot in the pajamas and he yawned again. He put his arms in the pajamas and he fell fast asleep. Andrew's mother carried the principal back into his office. <laughs> Then she took Andrew home. Then Andrew's mom made him some real perfect pajamas. They kept Andrew as warm as toast, even on a very cold nights. And they were really perfect because they only made Andrew go to sleep when he wanted to go to sleep. And the principal. He is still sleeping. And that is the end of the story. At the end, Andrew fell asleep on his special pajama and no one could wake him up. My reading friends, What's your favorite special day at school? If you like this kind of story, please give a thumbs up. Also subscribe to our channel to hear other special story from me. See you in the other story.